So we are going to put some This is with, and this is without. Interesting to know, actually. Oh yeah. It's crazy. Man, even if I had... If I had um, a... Uh, what was it called? Not Vitality. The other one. Um... Nah, I'm missing two. Oh no, why do we keep going to the wrong eye? I think that's all the guards. I'm fucking sure it's all the guards. There's not that many when you think about it, but... When you're sneaking around, it's far too many. Um, I know there's a bone charm, not a bone charm, a ruin. Yeah, it's there. nice. Okay, where's the last one? Um, it's not in here. Oh crap, I missed it. Um... How much does he know by now? Ramsey? No. You? Oh, no. Sorry, Bundry. Well, Dowd, what do you want with me? I'm not yeah. here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. Cool. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they've ever seen here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. Oh. Options, options, options. I want to do saving here. I want to do it two times. My main one's going to be um, blow it up, but I'm going to knock her out and put her in that chair. Campus should have hired to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. He's the one that killed a twat. Ha! <laughs> Gonna torture you. <laughs> I don't know, reload. I just want to see what happens. Oh, money. Late report for the month of next. The Dauntless sailed north ten days to no result. Word is she restocked Dr. Driscoll to pursue a large pond. The Delilah is coming back from the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll make sure you get to enjoy this. 
I'm not gonna enjoy it. Hello. I think you know where you, you are. You can stick your hands out of there, darling. I've seen this thing used. I know how to resist it. You don't resist being electrocuted, you stupid cow. That was worse than I thought it would be. Tell me about Delilah. If I tell you, you'll just kill me. Or leave me here. What's the matter? Didn't think I could stand up to you? I need to know the significance. Delilah. You should have asked Rock Wild when you had the chance. For Josh. There we go. Listen, this is what they told me. There was supposed to be a plan. They said Rock Wild was diverting 10% of the oil he harvested, cheating the Lord Regent of the product. But he wasn't doing it alone. He had a partner who sold him the ship, the Delilah. Who is his partner? And why did he name it Delilah? Barrister Arnold Tench. Why do you want to know this? You don't care about the oil at all, do you? This is about the moon. Obviously. Tell me about Delilah. She's the real story. Delilah used to be a kitchen apprentice in the Empress's court. At Dunwall Tower. But she got sacked for something. Later, Sokolov spotted her talent as a painter and made her part of the circle. She met Timch and enthralled him. An old bastard like that, he was helpless. He named the ship for her. She took him for all he had. Almost. But it ended. How? Why? Delilah had some kind of hold on him. They said he was obsessed, then terrified. No one knows why. I hope that was satisfying. Here, I found the room key. When you're ready to go, I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside. Leave me be. Please, I can't take another. <laughs> I don't deserve to die. Yeah, you, you do. Innocent. None of you are. Oh, please, no more. Leave me be. Hey. Is she busy as in dead or busy as in unconscious? I'm confused. Character's busy, apparently. Okay, that was boring. Um, yeah. Well, that's what happens when you interrogate her. Boring! The Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. Yeah. Fucking don't know anything, do you, darling? So, what am I doing? So this should set the alarm off, I'm guessing. Okay, maybe not. I don't understand the point of that favour then. One of the favours was, um, sabotage the alarm so when you mess with the valves it doesn't set the alarm off or some crap like that.
that long. Expecting that, were you? Bit of death from above. The old rat eating your face. Didn't do a very good job finding all the loot, did it? gonna blow up now. This is exhilarating. sailing in murky waters assassin now they say that ship was sold to rothwild cheap by one of his business partners a barrister arnold tinch they'd planned to sell a portion of the whale oil on the black market instead of giving it to the lord regent treason would that be why you're here my reasons are my own the black market doesn't concern me interesting because that's only half the story Arnold Timch sold that ship to Rothwild because he was afraid of its namesake. Timch fell in love with a painter named Delilah. It was a scandal of the season. That shrunken old lecher acting like a giddy schoolboy over a nobody. A former serving girl from Dunwall Tower. Let me guess. It didn't end well. Back in a minute. It never does. But there's a mystery to this one. Something happened that frightened him very much. He dropped her overnight and sold the ship for a quarter of what it's worth. And Barrister Timps is not a man who scares easy. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask him yourself. But I very much doubt he'll tell you. I guess we're done here. I'll meet you outside. 